So in this video, you'll learn how to enable or disable touch and hold to edit lock screen on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So this feature just allows you to automatically edit the lock screen directly from there. So whenever you touch and hold on the lock screen, it will prompt you to enter in your lock screen type and then you can start editing. So it gives you a shortcut to editing your lock screen directly from the lock screen. So if you want to enable or disable this, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is just open the settings app and then in settings, you want to scroll and select lock screen and AOD. From here, you should see the option touch and hold to edit. So currently it's enabled, which is, again is why I can just touch and hold on my lock screen, enter my type, lock screen type and start editing. But if you want to turn it off so that you no longer have any accidental touches on the lock screen or you just no longer need to use it, all you need to do is just tap on the to go like that and it will be disabled. Once it's disabled, now whenever you touch and hold on the lock screen, you'll no longer be able to access the lock screen editor. All, if you want to edit the lock screen, you'll actually have to go directly to the settings app, select lock screen and AOD and then tap on edit lock screen. If you want to enable it so that you have a shortcut to edit the lock screen, just tap on the toggle and it will be turned on and you can start editing directly from the lock screen. So it's completely up to you to decide which option you prefer to use. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.